Hey guys, what is up? My name is Kapsrock and today we are going to take a look at the Paladins Open Beta 41 patch notes. So let's just get started with the most interesting, probably of these patch notes, which is the new map Stonekeep. And holy shit, does it look amazing. It really, for some odd reason, reminds me of Kingdom Hearts Castle of Dreams. I have no idea why, maybe because of the colors that they have used, but holy shit does this look interesting. On this map you will only be able to play Siege, so no payload involved in this map. Maybe later on we can get a map for um, payload as well for Stonekeep, but for now it is just gonna be Siege. Now let's check out what else they have done. Yin has gotten a new armor collection available. It is called the Genie, and you can get it from the Genie chest. You have the head, Genie feathers, diadem, eye, and turban. So four head pieces. The body is called Genie weapons: Genie winged prism and Genie's cloud prism. MVP poses: free wishes and emote wish granted. So there you have it. A whole new pack for Yin, which looks also pretty damn nice. If you want to be a epic or legendary founder. Be quick, because they will only be available for, well, like a little bit longer. They will not be available after update 41 comes out. Weekly quests are going to be implemented. Each week you get a quest. Well, I don't know in what type of manner they mean that. Like, is it going to be kill 20 barracks uh, in one week or deliver 5 payloads in the week? I don't know, I hope it's gonna be awesome, uh, it will probably be awesome. Hopefully with these weekly challenges, since they will probably be a little bit harder, you will also get crystals from them, but I am not sure for that, so I'm not gonna say anything about that at all, but I just hope it's gonna be something like that. So a few small changes in game modes have happened. For siege mode, Teams now gain 300 credits for capturing an objective, but teams no longer gain credits for defending a payload push. That seems fair to me. Uh, the whole team gets credits for capturing the objective, but you don't get anything when defending the payload. Kind of strange, well, because when I play Fernando or any kind of frontline, I really like to see the um, credits go up when defending the payload because that is the hardest thing there is after you have captured the objective you actually need to deliver it but well you no longer get credits for that so that kind of stinks but capturing it for 300 credits is decent in my opinion for payload mode starting credits increased from 400 to 1000 that is massive guys holy shit i can now buy whatever i want right at the start no need to wait and also increased credit spooling in payload from 1 to 2 credits every 1 second. So you will get every item that you want pretty damn fast in payload mode. They say they have finally fixed the issue where weapon skins, emotes and spray selections would reset to default. That was really annoying because you have a um, weapon or a skin or anything to show off to people. And then it gets reset every time you join the game and, well, you look like half a character. And that's... It's a good thing that they have fixed that. So they also say, using a spray will no longer put you in combat. I've never actually encountered that, so I can't tell anything about it. And there are also a few fixes that they have done. I will put them on the screen right now, so you can read them by yourself. Okay, let's continue. There are a few fixes, balances and updates to the champions you're used to. So, first of all, really, really nice barrack. Increased health from 2900 to 3400. And that's just, that's logical. Like, for real, barrack is a frontline. He needs more health. I've been playing with him like a few times now. And well, you got 200 health more than, let's say, Maldamba. And that's just wrong in a lot of ways. Croc's healing totem now increased healing from 340 to 520 per second, which uh, which is really reasonable because when playing Croc, well, you're not really a healer, you're basically a damage dealer that also has the ability to place a healing totem, which you can take down really easy those totems. It just takes 1000 health or so 
to uh, get those down. And, well, then Grok needs to wait 15 seconds longer to place another one. So, still not really the best healer there is. But, well, it really helps to have that to 520 per second. Sky is going to be a little, uh, little more OP than she already was. Increased armor count from 15 to 20. Like, what the fuck? I mean, if you have the combination of poison bolts that gain you reload speed for 40%, you don't even need 20 arrows. You can do with 15. 15 is just not enough to kill an enemy. But when you have the reload speed of 40% extra, well, you basically don't need the 5 extra arrows that they give you right now. But still, we are gonna see what other people think of it. I think that it's gonna be a little bit too overpowered for Sky. Tyra also had some uh, fixes. Since she is the newest character in the game, increased health from 2200 to 2400, changed various text instances of grenade launcher to nade launcher. Well, that makes things a little bit easier, I think. And cards, salamander height, fixed the tooltip error. Then there are a few Fixes for MVP poses, not showing their trophies. And fix the convention 2070 skin, not showing the correct armbands in first person view for Yin. And there's also something about new Q. The test Q, available at level 15. The test Q is a place to future maps that are unfinished, allowing players to give active feedback on maps that are in progress. Test Q is available from casual Q select. Maps available in... OB41, Atrium, District and Undercity, all of them are in Siege. So leave something down in the comments what you think about that. You can give active feedback on maps that they are working on. And well, that's a good way to connect to your community. If I say so myself, because then you have, well, literally live people say to you what they would like to see and what they really don't like to see. That's really helping. Uh, them and us to get what we want for Paladins because let's face it we both want the best for that game And that was all that I had to talk about in this episode guys. I hope you enjoyed it I certainly did. I really am excited for this update I really am new map that is gonna be great because let's face it There are not a lot of maps in total. I think there is a total of seven They can do with uh, more maps and also the balancing and the general things they have talked about really sounds promising so if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing, comment down below on your opinions and thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> Nate launchers chased various texts. Changed various text instances and fixed the conv and fixed the convention to and fixed the convention 2017 skin not showing for Yin, not showing the correct armbands in. S